we were rehearsing at this uh, rehearsal hall, and Amy was there rehearsing with her band for the for the tour for this new tour. And I said, "Hey, tour!" And she asked me where, which room we were in, and she said, "Well, I'll come over before we leave." And I was like, "All oh, right." And so, <laughs> so sure enough, bless her heart, it was 10:30, and I know she was worn out, and she came over, and it was so nice that she would do that. And, and so we played our little song for her, and she came behind, you know, where the monitors were, and she was listening. And, and I was thinking, wow, okay, you know, talk about full circle. You know, I've grown up listening to this woman. She, I've thought she's just unbelievable, both in her character and her music. And, and you know, and she's standing here, nice enough to come over and listen to, to us play our song. And... And you know, she was worn out. She was tired, you know, from rehearsing all day. And she's a precious person and and she's probably a great friend to many people. And that's I think that's a lot of who she is. Cindy Morgan sharing with us a very personal Amy Grant memory. Hi, I'm Johnny Hale, and you're listening to Soul to Soul. Each week you can find Soul to Soul on great radio stations like ninety three point three WVFJ Atlanta and across the country on the K-Love Radio Network. From the earliest refrains of songs like I'm Gonna Fly and My Father's Eyes, Amy Grant began to capture the hearts of Christian music lovers everywhere. Over the years, we have watched from a distance as she has grown in front of our eyes, and as she has grown, so has her music. Songs like El Shaddai, Sing Your Praise to the Lord, Angels, find a way saved by love and that's what love is for not only to find the moment they raise the musical standard as well it has been said that amy grant's music has been a part of the soundtrack of our lives as we sat down with amy on her farm outside nashville tennessee we began our conversation by discussing her record company's campaign that focuses on creating real life music i think that's a pretty um that that's a good angle for Murr records to have yeah, I think that I think music in general right now whether it's in Christian music or pop music people are so I think just so hungry for genuine and we've we've kind of gone through the affluence of the 80s and the angst of the 90s and with the year 2000 just around the corner I think people are saying I'm not asking for perfect I'm not looking for everything to be right, but genuine would certainly be nice. Takes a little time. The first single from the project, Behind the Eyes, from Amy Grant. Much of the music on Amy's new album topically grapples with the hopes and struggles common to us all. For example, the song Missing You talks about the memories that stay with us. The heart holds on to what it wants to hold on to. And you can... I mean, it's it's just it's like anything. You you do what you're able to do at the time, and I guess depending on what it is you're holding on to, if it's something that's keeping you from living your life, then chances are you need to not hold on so tight. And if it's something that adds meaning and value to your life in the present, then I think it's worth holding on to because someday we're all going to have our head on a deathbed someday and chances are the things that mean the most to us are not going to be within sight or within reach but all those things are what made our life valuable and and so why let go of it unless it's unless it's a real deterrent from embracing what's happening at the moment my feeling is what we remember is all we've got that is what your life is Amy Grant and the song Missing You. Up next, Amy talks about the importance she places on friendship. She'll also talk about leaving it all behind. Keep it right here for more Soul to Soul. Hi, I'm Stephen Curtis Chapman. Keep listening for more Soul to Soul. Yeah. 